Well, hello, Joyce Burgess. Hi there. <laughs> How are How you are today? You? I'm doing well. How are you? Very well. Thank you. Good, good. We want to take this segment and talk about coding with friends. And this, this is actually a segment of our PATH program, isn't it? Parents as teachers at home. It's a, yes. it's a subset of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Part of the series. Um, exactly. So I am so, uh, I have always been happy about this project. It is something that is a part of my passion. Um, we call it coding with friends because the kids that we bring together, especially um, on the Saturday morning program, we started that as a coding program. Um, but these kids have quickly engaged and just had so much fun with the hands-on activities that we put a little uh, graphic design in there. We've got um, some other like uh, technical projects. They're doing presentations. They're doing so much in the digital world and they're actually learning all of this um, through the Google for Education platform that again, this is my plug always when I get a chance, is available to homeschoolers, right? Yes. So yes. It, it is a free resource. Um, all it takes is just a little bit of a sign up process, but it with that platform, there are so many um, um, tools and curriculum that's available through the Google for Education platform. One of the um, services I'm thinking about specifically that they keep building more and more content is called Applied Digital Skills. So anyone mm -hmm. can look up that search term, Applied Digital Skills by Google. And there's a whole platform. Teachers use it in the school systems. They just plug in the lesson and play. They click the little video and Google does all the teaching with their um, employees. Yeah, it, it is so wonderful. And they keep enhancing it every year. So they're building this content. They don't want anyone, the parents or the teachers to have to struggle with technology content. So they do this in an effort to put quality content out there in a way that's easy for you to implement it in any education setting. So again, it's plug and play. You get to choose the lessons, the age level, and all of that. Um, but Applied Digital Skills is one um, resource that I strongly recommend if you're not very tech savvy. And I know some of us as parents <laughs> kind of like start to pull our hair out when you're talking about, oh, technology and how do oh, I do it, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, yeah. So um, I also, I'd love to recommend free quality resources when it comes to technology. Now, if you're looking specifically at coding resources, there's a program called CS First by Google as well. And that's the computer science program. And in within that program, you can Google that also, CS First by Google. And in that program, it teaches them coding in different languages. So the coding projects are maybe you can code a little racing game, or you can code um, a way to animate the letters of your name, or you can code a storyboard and make a little cartoon and pick the characters in the landscape. Oh, it's really, really good. And again, that's another kind of plug and play um, type of a curriculum there. So two very good, highly recommended resources to get your own children involved, whether they're homeschooling or not, they're free, they're on the internet, and you can just go and use those as you would. But I think every child needs to be exposed to digital skills, at least on the, the basic foundational um, level. We call it digital literacy. So that's what we're implementing. And Joyce has been so gracious to give us um, the platform within MBHE to introduce the MBHE families to this program. So what do you think about the, the progress and the success of the Coding with Friends program, Joyce, from your experience? Well, I must say, I've been working with Angela for probably about four years now, almost five years. And when she first started sharing technology with me, only thing I knew how to do basically was turn the computer on, go to Word, go to email. That was it. Not saying that I know a lot even now because it can be a little fuzzy, mm -hmm. but I absolutely love the fact that we can come over this kind of uh, outlet and have this conversation with you. So yes, Angela, uh, technology has just been a gateway for me 
to experience all of the great things that that's offered in the digital world because at some point we're going to have to be involved in technology you know a lot of times i pay my my bills on auto pay and you know i i'm going back to the children i have just seen the kids flourish and if we can give as parents being in the authority that we have over our children as the overseer as uh, basically as the parents we can give our children a fresh start into technology and a safe and secure start into technology where they won't have to learn it in ways that will harm them mm -hmm. because a lot of times once again going back to something that we've said if you teach your children how to choose the good things they won't be so quick to choose what's bad. A lot of times children choose the bad because they feel that's the only uh, solution or the only choice that they have. Right. So Angela has done an amazing job. Thank you. Um, and I know she has her own website as well. I would like her to give that so that you can go in and just kind of keep up, updated with what's going on with her. Uh, as it relates to technology where children are concerned. She has her, um, a son and of course she's been drawn into this because probably because of him, yeah. where children are concerned. Mm -hmm. So um, I think the children are learning. The children have come into their own individuality within their virtual spaces. They are leaders, you know, in this technology we're, we're finding children who are leaders already, you can see those leadership abilities developing in those children. So I'm very, very honored and happy that this is a part of the NBHE program, Coding with Friends, and that we can continue to give this opportunity to our families. Absolutely. And one other thing I want to um, add to our discussion, um, Joyce, is that we also provide um, materials for and resources for parents to understand how to keep your child safe online. So one thing I'm not an advocate of, just putting your kid on online and letting a video teach them or whatever, and you're leaving them mm -hmm. you know, alone. But I, I think it's so important for parents to walk alongside their children in this technology journey because yes. just like you wouldn't give your keys um to your car to your child they're going to drive one day but you don't say okay kid you're 15 mm -hmm. you're 16 you toss them the keys and they go out into the world and start mm -hmm. driving no so i look at technology as the same kind of thing it's the wild wild west out there in the internet <laughs> land, right and you're the wilder parent. yes wilder even wilder as a wilder parent <laughs> especially today. So oh, yeah. and we were talking about the darkness and, you know, being the light in these spaces. But I think one of the main things that we have to do it and our responsibility as parents is to understand these environments that the kids are in and understand the gateways that they can put and the boundaries they can put, the discussions they can have with their children based on, you know, what's available and them seeing themselves as parents, what's available there. So we also want to provide resources uh, for the parents to understand, you know, sometimes you want to block them, you want to cut off their internet when it's time to go to bed. There are wonderful tools that'll do that and kind of keep them on a timer. So these are some discussions and resources we want to share with the parents as well. But we need you to leave some comments in the post. We need you to email Joyce at contact mm -hmm. at mbhe.net or you can email me at contact at advscholars.org. Um, my website also is advscholars.org, really easy to remember, and mbhe is mbhe.net. So we're so willing and able and ready to mm -hmm. help the kids, but especially the parents too. I think when we have the parents comfortable and have their buy-in Joyce, then they're more apt to release their kids into this little by little, you know, as they're comfortable. So I think that that's a critical piece of what makes our program work. We have the support and the backing of the parents. And I totally agree with that. Parents, you need to come on and get more involved in your children's education as it relates to technology. Because as, you know, just a, uh, a foundational principle, 
that when you're involved in something, your children are going to want to be involved in it. And if you're passionate about something, your children are going to be passionate about something. If you pursue excellence, your children will pursue excellence. That's just the bottom line, because you are their models. You're their role models. You're their example. And we want to empower you as a parent with what God has already given you, given you. It's, it's there you know, like that light that's inside of you so that you can help lead your children to, to navigate into the world that you're not going to, you don't have to face per se. You know, I'm at an age right now where I'm not trying to climb every mountain. <laughs> I'm not trying to ford the, the seas. <laughs> I'm just living and enjoying life and loving all my grandbabies and overseeing my children and just sitting back enjoying them as they're raising their children. But they're out there, you know, they're trying to make it. And so as you want to raise some strong adults, you know, I see this cup that says, there's a coffee cup that says adulting is hard. Yes, it is, but that's not what you tell yourself all the time that it's hard. It is challenging, but you tell yourself that you're going to be the best adult because you had great parents who took time with you and invested in you. I still say to this day that parents have the best interest in their children's education. Parents, you are the one who have the, the a vested interest in your children's education. So we're here to help and um, we hope you have a great weekend. Thank you for listening. God bless.